Okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. episode we are back and of course we have little Kelsey just here so you guys would have remembered from uh, Wednesday's video I believe it is um, basically what we went ahead and did was actually give everybody in the household a makeover because at one point during the live stream that we did the other day oh I just tapped my stuff okay sorry I'm like literally a mess um, so in the last um, live stream that we did uh, basically everybody aged up so at some point everybody needed a makeover so I went ahead and gave all nine sims I believe a makeover so all of them are good they are ready um, you know they are ready to move on with their lives now that they've got a makeover they're not looking you know uh, Max's match and you know we don't we don't we don't feel for that in this house and um, yeah so we are we are kind of back so in terms of progression I played a little bit off of school um, I played a little bit off camera and I've actually got some stuff done. So Harley and um, Stephanie are now ready to age up into young adults. They've got an A grade in school and they also have their character values within the range of um, responsibility. Um, and also so does uh, Stephanie. So both of these guys are ready to age up into young adults and actually get moved out. So that is the first case up today. Um, and then the next case is actually to look after Noah and um, Noah and Austin and work on their skills and get them up to level three. Because actually when these both both Harley and Stephanie move out, we can't have any more children still. We're, we're physically not able to have any more children. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, um, you know, get these guys moved out. So Austin um, and Noah moved out so that we make two more spaces for another set of twins. And hopefully Kelsey can have another set of babies before she actually, um, before she actually ages up into a elder which is currently in seven days time so we've only got a bit of time but we are working against the clock here so um i think we should just go ahead and jump straight in and actually work on getting a um a cake made so that we can get these kids aged up so let's have kelsey go and make a blue confetti cake um and get that worked on and then in the meantime i'm gonna have noah who is actually a bit of a nerd he really likes video gaming i'm gonna have him come over here and just play loads and loads of blick block over here on the um on the blick block machine and austin he actually works out quite a lot i went ahead and done a bit of a renovation downstairs um and i went ahead and turned this into like a gym and also um a place where people can dance and work on their dancing skill so i'm gonna come have um i'm gonna go have austin come downstairs and actually go and do a bit of working out um because he is into um he's into dancing but i was thinking he could be into fitness as well um and we could just kind of do both um and have him try and get his skill up to level three as quickly as possible so that we can move on to um we can move on to the next lot of kids you know i think that's probably the best idea i don't know if you guys can hear but i actually did talk to you in the makeover video that was on wednesday and i said that i've been really sick and i came down with this sickness on friday of last week um, and I said, hopefully by Friday, you know, next week, it'll definitely be gone because it's like going to be a whole week. I'm still sick. Um, I'm, I'm nowhere near as sick as what I was. You know, I'm not sleeping all the time. Um, I'm still on medicine for it because I normally cannot make it through the whole entire day without having some medicine. Um, but yes, I am still sick. You can still hear it in my voice. Um, and it's just, it's just honestly a bit of a meal. Um, I don't know why, but apparently there is a bit of a sickness going around and unfortunately I managed to get it. And to be honest, it, I'm kind of due up for a sickness. We're at the end of the year and I haven't really had any sicknesses at all throughout the whole entire year. Um, I'm pretty good with, oh my God, he's in a bad mood. Um, I'm pretty good with my... Is that my dog trying to get in? I'm pretty sure my dog's trying to get in. Um, I'm pretty good with like my um, my constitution and my you know my immunity um, to things. I you know I um, normally don't get sick very often, so I'm I'm doing pretty well considering this is one of the first times I've been sick the whole of this year. But it almost just hit me like two times as hard just because I ha you know but just because I haven't been sick, it was almost like punishing me for not being sick and um, you know giving me the full dose of it. So. 
yeah, hopefully, hopefully my voice will clear up soon. I mean, my voice is probably the worst bit about it. The dizziness is gone, so thank God for that. But uh, moving on, Harley is now aging up and he has been given the socially gifted trait. Um, so although he's a slow learner, he's got a bit of a gift of the gab and he's also be galling. So it's probably going to be a bit of a flirt when, um, you know, as he ages up into an adult. And I'm just going to have him go quickly pop on another set of candles. Oh, did you see my voice? Oh, okay. Um, okay, Lauren, you okay? Um, next up, we're gonna have Stephanie go ahead and make herself a wish um, and get herself aged up into a young adult and we will see what type of person Stephanie's gonna be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys moved out as quickly as possible um, and get them moved out into another household so that we can move on to the um, next lot of children that we need to get moved out. And she is also a light sleeper, so she rarely gets tired. Okay, well, that's fine. Don't mind that too much. Okay, so these guys are good. So I'm going to go ahead and get them moved out into another household um, and free up a little bit of space so, you know, it's a little bit more manageable down here. And then we'll come back and we'll work on some skills and we can just have a bit of a chat and, um, you know, do that sort of thing. So I will be right back. Okay, so we are back in the house and I've got all the um, kids moved out that needed to, so Stephanie and Har Harley. <laughs> did I just go to Messi? Oh my god, what am, I, what am I saying? I was gonna say, did I go and say Harsey? Um, but I just literally stumbled over every single word that I tried to say. Um, okay, so we're gonna have Austin um, turn the music down because that is pretty loud. I don't know why he's listening to really loud music. He didn't manage to make it to the toilet in time and I'm pretty sure his brother is actually taking the piss out of him. So unfortunately he's gonna have to go quickly take a shower and then go and grab some leftovers. He's feeling absolutely mortified that he um, that he wet his pants but he's gonna be fine. Hopefully he doesn't die. Um, I really hope he doesn't die. We, we don't need this right now. <laughs> um, and in the meantime I'm just gonna have, make sure that everybody is being looked after. Speaking of she can actually just put herself to bed since it's like 11 o'clock at night. Night. Austin was down here. He was doing a bit of working out, so he is done. Um, I think he's pretty tired now, so he can go use the toilet, grab some leftovers, um, and then go to sleep. Since it is Friday, so nobody's got school tomorrow, so it's all about skill building. And then we can work on the kids um, and have them go and put themselves to bed, you know, use the toilet go to sleep the usual type of thing just make sure that everybody is sleeping oh um, no i was just about to say um i'm pretty sure these guys dad just has just died yeah his dad has just passed away oh that is really unfortunate he has passed away okay and she's gonna be sad about it because obviously that was a bit of a lover of hers a quite you know fairly recent lover um so unfortunately everybody's gonna be a little bit sad in the household for a while um because you know their dad passed away so it's, it's completely understandable he wet his pants and now he's passed away i would definitely understand um and well not relate to but also you know sympathize with the fact that he's um you know it's not going great for him in his life right now um but we do need to work on skills kids so if you could get in a better mood that would be amazing and i'm gonna go ahead and skip until the morning until everybody is awake so we can work on some skills and i will speak to you all in a second okay so kelsey has just woken up from her sleep and of course she is feeling really really sad about the fact that she has lost a good friend um and a bit of a lover so that is kind of unfortunate but um just kind of the way it works realistically um you know all of her all of her lovers are gonna have to pass away at some point so she's feeling really really sad about that but um we do need to clean up the house a little bit because it is looking like a bit of a mess the kids have been uh running riot you know making loads of mess and I'm wondering if the gardener only turns up every um, every day during the week because that is kind of useless to me. Um, because right now I do need um, I do need this stuff, and I don't really want anything to go off. You know, I don't want anything to um, to not work. What is something needs to be evolved here? I see it sparkling, and I'm trying to find where it is. Okay. Go, go bunk down. Okay, yeah, you go, you go, you go do that, babes. Um, what is Kelsey doing? She, what is she sad about? She's sad that she wants another baby. Is she joking? I, I really hope she is joking right now. She like I, you are, you are, you are a funny one. You are a funny one. Um, you are a funny one, Kelsey. Okay, let's go have her have a shower. Um, maybe get herself in a better mood. I tell you what, let's go take a flirty shower. Okay, dream of the sea. Let's dream of the sea. See if we can get her in a bit of a flirty mood, and then that way. Maybe she will be more inclined to flirt up with some men because right now she's feeling really sad about her old partner dying Which is which is understandable. You know, I'm not saying that she won't feel like that Um, I really don't like the fact that their portraits aren't updating. This is not bothering you. This is bothering me so much I can't see who I'm clicking on. Okay, what is wrong with you? You need to have a shower. You broke the toilet. Of course you did. Yeah 
Um, let's go get yourself ready. And I'm going to take Kelsey out. I know she's in a bit of a bad mood, but hopefully I can do enough good things for her to put her in a good mood. She's trying to tackle the kids in, which is really cute. Um, but let's have her go off and see if we can meet a man's um, and put a bit of a smile back on her face. Okay, so hi guys, I am back and I probably will sound a little bit different considering the microphone's probably moved and I'm in a little bit of a different setup. So basically what happened between the first part of you seeing this video and the second part, which will be now, um, is my game broke. So I must have downloaded a set of CC presets and there was specifically three files that had completely broken my game. It meant that I couldn't travel. It meant that I couldn't save the game. I literally could not do anything. And apparently I installed these and could not find them for the life of me. So I had to go through every single file in my creator sim files to figure out which one it was, do the 50-50 method um, and worked out that it was these three files. So it took me about a day or so, about a day and a half actually, to try and work out what the file was so that I could go ahead and delete it and obviously there was three of them so I had to do it for every single one um so yeah we are back and obviously it's a different day new day so I'm sorry that this video didn't come out on Friday when it was supposed to be um it's supposed to come out on Friday or Saturday uh but obviously I could not get a video out when it was half done so you are seeing the rest of this right now um so all oh, one of our sons is actually over here let's go say hello to Jackson oh we let, he's been all he's been all interested Let's go and um, let's go and brighten his day and stuff. Yeah, the top agency are looking for us. Yeah, babes, I bet they are. Um, so we are actually here on the man's lookout. We are looking out for a new boo. So we actually have this guy over here who is looking very cute. His name is Brennan Maguire. He is looking really, really cute so far. So I think we're going to go over there and say hello to this guy as well. Give him a quick cheerful introduction um, because he'll definitely be a potential contender. But this is definitely going to be her last set of babies that she's going to have with this sim. So I really, really want to be quite finicky with my choice of sim. I really, really want to choose um, which sim, you know, which sim we're going to go for. Um, very, very, oh, I just had a voice crack, cute, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I just, yeah, I want to, I want to sort of be a bit finicky and choose who we're going to have as the next baby daddy because it is going to be Kelsey's last set of babies and obviously I want her to have a really good looking set of babies which means she needs a really good looking dad. So I don't think I'm asking for too much here but I am just having a quick look around and seeing if there's any cuties around here. So this was one of the guys that I did see. He's okay but he's just a little bit plain unfortunately. I think so far the cutest one to me is actually the bartender who is trying to run. He really is... Okay, he's going. He's going. I can't even catch him. Okay, right. So she is saying hello to Mr. Ashton here. And it seems to be going pretty well. She is already... Wow, that was quick. She's already his friends. And she just... Uh, she's... Can you stop? Hello, Kelsey. Um, she's already his friend. And she has also increased her... Oh, the kid is back again. She's also increased her thing. Her... Uh, Lauren, use your words, please. Her charisma skills are level nine. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce ourselves a little bit to him. He hasn't got any custom eyes on. Because I realized now that I actually went ahead and deleted my custom eyes when I was uninstalling um, some CC. So I do need to go ahead and reinstall my custom eyes again. And make sure to go ahead and do that. And then we'll also come over and get introduced to this guy over here. So I suppose you guys have got a bit of an option of who you would prefer we go with. Um, I was hoping that we could go for a blonde sim. Since we hardly have any blonde children. And I would like to sort of chance having a blonde baby at some point. But then you see sims like this. Okay, I was going to say. You see sims like this roll up. He's not that cute. He's not that cute, Lauren. Don't, like, go crazy. Okay, this guy is bold. Very bold. Very, abs absolutely very bold. Um, but, yeah, then you see guys like that turn up. He is still cute. You know, he's not not cute. He's got some bright blue eyes. He's got some nice hair. Actually, he is pretty cute. Actually, we're going to go say hello. Hey, boo. Hey. Let's go say hello. Um, maybe go and ask for a wonderful pill. No, I wasn't I wasn't gonna ask him for a wonder wonderland pill. You know, that's not really me. Um Stephanie's calling us. Wow, she's only been moved out for like a morning and she's already calling us, babes. Okay, you, you gotta live by yourself now, okay? You and your brother, you're gonna be fine. Um, okay, so I had Kelsey wait around and see if we can find any men and actually nobody else turned up other than the ones that we actually saw at the spa. So there was no point in me waiting around, but all is good because I've actually got a really, really good idea of something that I wanted to do for tomorrow. 
So, um, I wanted to check and make sure that there was no holidays conflicting with what I want to do, and there isn't, which is amazing. What I wanted to go ahead and do is throw a reunion party for all of Kelsey and the babies that have happened so far, so we can go ahead and see them. If any of them are there, I can obviously give them a quick makeover, because some of them are a little bit naked where I've uninstalled some of their CC that they used to have. I would like to get them fully clothed, you know, so we can look at them. Um, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually go ahead and download a quick haul from the gallery, pop a haul down, because right now i don't think all of the kids are going to fit into the house um i just i just don't see everybody coming into this kitchen and trying to fit in so what i'm going to go ahead and do is you know download this big hall and see if i can get like a massive kitchen and you know different sort of buffet areas where we can go over and eat and then everybody can meet up and you know we can tell some jokes so we can watch some tv together um we can just do a few things to sort of spend some time as a family and i think it'll be really nice for them to all meet up with each other and talk um since it's going to be one of the final times that we're actually going to be able to see everybody so i will be right back i'm gonna go ahead and download a haul and i will come back with you afterwards okay so i went ahead and did a little bit of renovations on like a town hall looking thing and um, it's actually in strangerville it took a while but i got there um so i went ahead and placed it so we can go ahead and throw the party now so um i think we're gonna go ahead and do a Oh, this is going to be difficult, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, well, it's not a weenie roast. It's not a teen group party. It's nobody's birthday. Most likely, it'll be a dinner party. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if we had everybody dressed up in costumes, wouldn't it? That would that would be really funny. I think that'd be I think that'd be really cute. Or a black and white bash would be quite cool as well to have so everybody dress the nines yeah okay i'll tell you what let's do a little black and white bash um obviously the host is going to be kelsey and i should probably go ahead and invite everybody um okay let me go and make sure i don't miss anybody so let me just concentrate on real, real quick hold on <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and threw the party. So the party starts tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the town hall. And obviously I made sure to invite everybody. So we've got all the kids coming to the party, which is really good. Um, I did go ahead and spin on and play a little bit of the evening. Um, I just had everybody work on their skills. And we also got a chance to have a movie night with Kelsey and the kids. Um, but obviously the whole part, part of this part will be that we are celebrating um, the reunion. So obviously I didn't include all of that bit, but they did go and grab some popcorn as you you can see and they all sat down and watched a little movie a kids movie together whilst the teenagers were working on their skills downstairs um in the basement so obviously that is where the skill building goes on and um yeah everybody is heading on off to bed now to wake up in the morning for the reunion so we can get everybody up showered and ready for the party tomorrow so i will go ahead and skip and meet you in the morning when we're ready to wake everybody up and i will speak to you all in just one second okay so the kids are now waking up and we've actually got noah over here just trying to fix the Blick block machine uh, because it seems that some of the kids have been playing on it and they actually broke it last night so he does need to go ahead and fix it so he can play on it himself but the second one up is actually amber she is fully rested and she can now go and quickly have a shower um, and i also left out some grand breakfast on the side so she can come and grab some food and then gradually as everybody starts getting up they can start grabbing some grand breakfast of course everybody is trying to go for the popcorn considering kelsey made some lovely caramel popcorn for last night but obviously that is not available so i wanted to go ahead and actually update you guys on the family tree because i realized you guys haven't seen it recently um, and I did say that the babies haven't been, I, I did, oh, there we go. I did say that nobody uh, on a fa in our family tree has had a baby just yet, which is now wrong because we now have two babies. So Natalie and also Zoe have both had a baby of their own. So obviously Natalie has had Alicia Collins and she is our granddaughter. And Natalie actually went ahead and had Ahmed, her little baby boy. Um, so we have two grandchildren already. That's obviously not including the next generation's grandchildren. Um, so I thought that was really cool if I could go ahead and show you that and obviously all the other kids um they're all working at their own pace you know nobody else has had any babies just yet but I'm sure gradually as you know Kelsey goes on into an elder and comes to the end of her life she will end up having loads and loads of grandchildren um and we can go ahead and do one last family reunion before Kelsey does pass away um and make sure that we can have everybody get together Okay, so we have just arrived, and as you can see, everybody is ready, other than the toddlers who are not exactly ready for the black and white bash, so I'm going to go ahead and head into Creatus in with them and go ahead and get them sorted, but I'll tell you what, Kelsey is looking like a 
fucking snack. Look at her. Don't even lie to me right now. Oh my god. Okay, let me take the creators, uh, the toddlers into creator sim. Get them looking a little bit more fresh because right now they're not exactly suiting the whole black and white bash theme. <laughs> okay, there we go. I went ahead and joined back in and oh my god, look at this dress. Is this not the cutest little thing in the world? Oh my god. Okay. We've got our little outfits on at the moment. There's already some people in here. Um, I suppose because it is technically a museum, I think it is. Like, there's gonna still gonna be um, people in here, but it's fine. So let's head in and actually, um, what do we need to do? We need to craft a zebra fizz. Okay, make a drink. Make drink. Okay, can I craft a zebra fizz? I actually can't though. What is it? What, what, what counts as a zebra fizz? Gin fizz? Let me try a gin fizz. Because we can't make a zebra fizz just yet. Okay, let's let's go ahead and try that. And we've got little Esmeralda over here who's eating some food. Which, speaking of, we need to go ahead and serve up all of the food on here. Um, and then go ahead and pop some of the food that we've brought. I brought some eclairs and stuff. Um, so I'll go ahead and pop the eclairs down on the table. And also the cupcakes as well. So everybody can come and grab some of those. There we go, now everybody can come grab some food. We've also got Harrison here. And obviously we've got Noah in his suit as well. Oh my god, look at these boys. Elijah. Who, who's this here? This is Styles. Oh, Styles and Layton. The two infamous brothers. I also went ahead and placed this here as well. So we can go ahead and take some group photos of the children and of the adults as well. Which I thought would be super cool to go ahead and do that. And I do need to make sure that we have got a mixologist um i do need to make sure i've gone ahead and hired one so let me just give a quick call and make sure that one's turning up we've also got harley here who obviously just moved out and his sister stephanie is here as well oh my god my favorites oh my god faith oh my god it's crazy seeing everybody it's crazy Haley, of course oh wait sorry is that that's zoe isn't it it's not Haley. yeah of course um, we've got Jackson over here as well. Oh my god. Ly uh, this is Lila, right? Look, she's pregnant again. Wait, she's pregnant, right? Can I go ahead and cheat and see what she's having? <gasps> she's pregnant with a baby with a baby boy. Oh my god. I'm so excited for her. Wait, who have we got out here? We've got Luna. Um, I Oh, she's the entertainer. I was like, why is she here? Um, little Victoria's actually stuck down here. Come and grab some food, baby. Come over here. Why don't you grab some chips and Chevy and come and sit down and eat some food? Oh my god, the kids look so cute though. Look at Star. Oh my god. Little Amber. Little Amber's hair has just like disappeared up into her hat. Clearly she's got her hair up. Oh my god. This is so cute. This is so, so cute. There we go. I went ahead and swapped for a piano. Oh my god, I actually put it on top of Esmeralda. Um, I went ahead and bought a piano so that we can have the um, we can have the entertainer use this instead. Um, I hope the entertainer can actually use this. Instead, it looks like Stai was actually going to try his hand at using the piano, right? Oh god, this is not going to go down well. Kelsey, are you finished with this shrimp yet? Because people are getting hungry, babes. Um, let's go ahead and bring this upstairs so that everybody can grab some of this as well. There we go. We need to make some excellent quality black and white food as well. Okay, well I suppose Kelsey can do that while she's downstairs. Mama Bear is still, still working on all of this stuff. Okay, let's make a white and black cake first of all as well. Um, how is everybody doing? Everybody's just drinking their sorrows away. I love that. Um, we need to make a drink. Okay, make drink. I'm pretty sure a gin fizz counts as a zebra fizz. So let me just, can I just order one maybe? Order a drink. What are your favorite drink, babes? There we go. We've got the kids playing some Jenga over here as well. It looks like some of the guys are watching them play as well. We've got some good music going on. Everybody's coming and grabbing some food as well. There we go. Everybody's coming over for the cake. Obviously, Kelsey's infamous cake. Everybody is going to become running for that. Nobody is going to say no to the uh, to the cake that obviously Kelsey is providing us with. Oh, it's almost Esmeralda and Victoria's birthday, so that should be in the next three days or so. That would be really cool. Oh my god, I want to thank everybody for coming. Let's go and talk to everybody. So we've got Natalie, Lila. We've got Anastasia, we've got Dallas, of course. We've got Harrison over here. Oh, okay, damn, she's just breaking it down. I know she's pretty active, but 
to so know what she is up to down on the floor down there. <laughs> what is Victoria up to? She's coming to eat some cake in the bathroom. It sounds sounds about right. It sounds about right for Victoria to go into the bathroom and shut herself away whilst her sister sits outside and watches everybody. What else can we talk about the black and white? I'm trying to think. Um, we can discuss lack of newspapers. I suppose they're black and white, aren't they? We'll grab Zoe as well and we will go ahead and discuss... Hmm. Compliment our colour choices as well. Who is crying? Little Victoria, she is having a discussion with her brothers and sisters. And Esmeralda's actually about to wet herself, but of course she just keeps grabbing more food. She's also talking to Zoe a little bit as well. I know she does know Zoe a fair amount. Um, she did live with her at one point, I believe. But I realised, when I was clicking on the kids, there's a lot of them that don't actually know each other. Like, when you click on Star, and if you click on, like, Hayley, for example, one of the oldest, she actually doesn't know her half-sister, which is really weird to me. So we do need to make sure that everybody gets introduced to each other whilst we're at it. In the meantime, Kelsey is just talking to everybody, having, having a quick hug. You know what she's like. She's real close with the whole family, you know, smell my hand and all that. Yep, okay. Um, can we talk about some other stuff with them? Ask her baby's due date. Oh my god, yes, Lila, what is your due date? There we go. And then let's have Kelsey go ahead and order a drink for the group. We'll go ahead and grab a lot of chocolate. Out. Ooh, okay. We'll go ahead and grab some little coconut drinks from the bar and we can have everybody come and drink some of those. There we go. And it looks like Kelsey's about to wet herself as well, so she is going to need to quickly run off to the toilet. Oh my god, are you that tired that you're passing out? Wow, guys, are you are you okay? You don't need to just pass out right there. What's going on? The llama cries tonight? What's wrong? Uh, why? Oh, we probably lost the llama game. Okay, that makes more sense. There we go. Did we go ahead and order our drinks with the bartender? Hopefully we did. There's loads of drinks up here, though, that everybody can come and grab. So I am going to come and uh, have everybody come and grab some drinks over here. Obviously, the kids cannot grab a drink, though. So it's only going to be the adults who can grab some. And it looks like the food did get eaten as well. Oh, she's sharing a secret with with Lila. Probably telling her that her brother like wet himself or something. You know, like the brother that wet himself the other day. Uh, probably that. You know, Lila probably like, yeah, I've wet myself like four times today. <laughs> well, I'm on the toilet now. <laughs> oh, look at these guys, Austin and Stephanie, are having a nice hug. Oh God, I don't even want to end it. I love love my whole little family here. It would be great if I could get a quick picture with everybody. Um, so I do want to take an, a group photo with the adults. There we go. If we can go ahead and squeeze past and we can go ahead and get a picture of these beautiful boys. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my god. Look at the brothers. Oh god. I love them so much. Oh my god. I love them so much. Okay. Right. That's their group photo done. Let's do a photo of the children. Can we do all three? Oh, we can't. Okay, we'll just do Amber and Star, and then we'll do like Star and Micro or something. We'll do the kids. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. I'm gonna love all these photos. I'm gonna put them all up in the house and take them along with me. Okay, and then I would like a picture of Kelsey. Um, So take photo of, okay. Let's have one of the boys take a photo of adults. We want, um. We want Kelsey and I'd say, ooh, who should we have next? Probably Lila, because Lila's pregnant, so I think it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do that. So we'll have both of them head over here to go and have a picture. Oh my God, this is probably gonna be my favorite. Oh my God, they are the cutest little things ever. Oh my God, they're so cute, guys, I'm dying. I want some more pictures with Kelsey and the rest of the family though. Hold on, take, take photo with Kelsey and, Ooh, who should we do? Uh, we should probably do one of the boys. Um, let's go and get a photo with Austin as well. There we go. Oh my God, they are so cute. Look how ripped she looks. Oh, she's such a mum. She's such a mum. Oh my God, I love these guys so much. Okay, right, we've got some photos everybody and we have got some really cute photos in our inventory as well that we can go ahead and take home. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the party here and have everybody head on home. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with the, the whole squad 
the whole squad sitting here living it up a little bit hold on let me just zoom out so we've got the whole squad in here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off here guys so thank you so much for watching and I really really hope you enjoy the reunion and seeing some familiar faces and I'm really really excited to move on to the next generation so I'm definitely gonna spin through this um you can be expecting these videos more often as well with Kelsey because I'm gonna be but I have cut a few of my series out we've got some more space for more videos so I can go ahead and show you more of these you know more of the 100 baby challenge especially when the new season starts I'm really excited for that so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off here and as always if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below and I get around to them as soon as I can and if you are new it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow and if you just want to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button you get notified every single time I upload which means and it was one of my uploads and I think that is everything so as always I love you all and I'll speak to you next episode bye guys